Sometimes, the best traditions arise quite by accident. For my cousins and I, it was the year we decided to strap some rocket engines onto a small wooden boat that we built. We built three boats over three years. Most were dismal failures. But still, it was enough to inspire my brother Peter. And his boats, they changed the whole game. This year I decided I'd take a crack at boat building again. My design was inspired by videos of high speed outrigger type RC boats. I drew up the basic design in Corel Draw and printed out some templates. The main structure of the hull was made from a 332nd inch base wood, while the top and bottom surfaces of the hull were made from 132nd balsa. This was the first time I used spray adhesive to hold two pieces of wood together when cutting but it won't be the last because it made it so easy to make identical copies of the same piece. I decided to use my scroll saw on this project. This isn't ideal because the cuts don't always come out the smoothest, but you just gotta be careful about it. Having the pieces affixed together made it easy for drilling the holes accurately as well. One nice thing about base wood is that it sands really easily so the scroll saw not being 100% straight was okay. I could just sand out those imperfections real easily. Since I had to separate these pieces of wood, I didn't want to use a spray adhesive that was too aggressive. The blue Loctite brand is what I used. It seemed to work pretty well. I cut two 5 16 inch dowels to length to hold the outriggers in place. It just kind of rotated the dowel as I cut it to get the cut pretty straight. And then you press everything together. You have to be a little careful. You don't want to crack any of the pieces of wood, but I was able to test fit everything quite easily. Next, I begin the glue up. The first piece to glue was the bottom of the hull. I simply glued the entire length of the side plates of the hull and pressed everything down. For all of my glue joints, I made sure that I put extra glue. So you'll see it makes quite a bit of a mess, but the reason I did that is I do not want any water leaking into the hull. The engine tube was made from some one inch inside diameter tubing. Next, I had to cut some small pieces to hold the engine tube in. This piece was a little complicated, and when I showed the finished product to people, they were surprised at how I actually did it. I cut out several small bulkheads to hold the tube from the base wood. Into these, I cut a half circle that was slightly larger than the outside diameter of the tube. Next, we had to cut some of the 132nd inch balsa. Cutting this is pretty simple. You can just use a knife. Uh, I use my pocket knife, but an X-Acto works a little bit better. After the balsa is cut, you can wrap it around the tube and place the bulkheads over it. And then glue everything together. The reason I created this half circle to hold the tube is so that no water could leak under the tube and into the boat. I wanted the hull to be entirely sealed because I wasn't sure how any moisture getting into the boat would affect the uncoated or the, the unfinished balsa and base wood. And 
And next, we need a push block at the front of the engine tube. I made this by gluing up two pieces of the 3 32nd inch base wood. And then I added two pieces of 1 quarter inch square stock between this push block and the rear dowel. This would allow the thrust from the engines to be transmitted to a pretty rigid part of the structure. The nice thing about the balsa is that it is so thin that you can cut it with a knife. You can kind of just build everything oversize and then trim it off with the X-Acto knife. The outriggers were glued onto the dowel in a similar way that the dowels were glued into the hull. And then I cut out some balsa for the bottom of the hulls. Once again, this was glued up in a very similar way. You want to make sure when you glue this that you have equal pressure along the entire curve. That can be a little tricky. Once the glue was set up, continued on to the rear of the outriggers. I had to cut an angled piece back there. I uh, used the base wood just like I did for all of the bulkheads. I placed these bulkheads at about two inch intervals, just enough that they created enough support for the balsa wood top and bottom. That 1 32nd inch balsa wood is very thin and I did not want to break it just by touching the top or bottom of the boat. The top piece of balsa for the hull was probably the trickiest because I had to cut out a slot at the rear for the engine tube. To add some structural support to the front of the hull as well as the front of the outriggers, I placed a 1 quarter inch by 1 quarter inch block of wood along those leading edges. I applied liberal amounts of primer to seal the boat. And of course I painted it red, because what's faster than red? I did add a few finishing touches. One was these keels on the outriggers, as well as some structural hardware in the tube to mount the engine. Now that the boat's done, it's time to put the thing in the water and see what happens but you'll have to wait till next week because I'm gonna link it right here. Uh, and you really should subscribe down here so that I make the video. Because otherwise, well, I'll still make the video. But subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video when we actually launch this thing and see if it blows up. That's it. sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero.